on the screen you can see here the, uh, the our book section, and this is the book we will read today. As usually, we uh, we do a brief introduction to the to the work, and then we pass the the voice over to the book's author, whom you can ask your your questions. He'll be talking a little a little bit more about his his work, so that you can have a, a deeper look into the into the book and and, and the author's um, author's work before deciding if uh, if this if this read is is for you or not. And and in this case, it's, it's really a special. I, I know I, I'm being a, a little bit repetitive sometimes because I, every time I tell you that it's a, it's a special book, but um, indeed it's it's our effort to to, to pick the the books that we consider the most interesting uh, for our for our users. And and this again is is a is a very unique uh, unique piece. I personally like those books where it is made clear that FX trading is not for everyone. Yeah, this is a, it's a starting point that if I see a book um, explains things in in a transparent and true manner, um, they already have my 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 approval. And more and more with time, I enjoy reading trading related books where no charts are used, where no formulas appear, and this is 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 one of those cases. In the book, the bull, the beer, and the baboon, Mr. Windsor One has chosen a storytelling approach to discuss the FX market. The book is, is entirely intended to demonstrate the pitfalls into which many new traders fall when they start um, or, or when, they, when they go sh shopping for, for knowledge, uh, searching for mentors, for, for trading courses. Um, so in this way, it's a, it's a hybrid book. It's both a novel and very inter entertaining and also um, a very good investor training uh, guide. It contains true stories, stories that are true in the sense that um, you, when you go through it, you um, you will, with one or the other story, you will feel identified with it. Stories that which tell what happened to to seven students who um, uh, who. Uh, uh, attempted to approach the, the FX, the FX trading or the, in, in general, the, the investment arena, the training sessions they went through, um, and their attempts to, to follow, uh, the trainer's system. You know, this idea that if I, if I go through one, uh, trading course, I'll be able to mimic exactly what, what the trader, trainer is, uh, is, uh, is explaining or telling to me. Um, the book does not offer a trading system per se or any type of trading system, but it does reveal the pitfalls uh, wannabe traders face and, and point out how they, they can avoid being trapped by the so-called marketing wizards in the, in the FX industry. Um, especially valuable, I found the, the chapter summary of the key points uh, which readers should understand after reading each of the of the story. Um, I don't know what in these stories is fiction and what is real, but that's, that doesn't matter really. Um, if you are a student or a teacher, you'll be probably be able to see yourself as one of the characters in, in the book. For both groups, students and teachers, it contains eye-opening advice for both. Um, it takes a very realistic and in-depth look, sometimes even hard to, to, to read what happened to, to these persons, because probably you went through such a story or you know someone whose life was, was just ripped apart from, uh, through the experiences they, they had in the investment, investment industry. And, and I look also at some of the less than honorable tactics and techniques used to to lure vulnerable investors into the into the FX trading game. I can tell you from my trading experience that goes back more or less than ten years back now. Um, I I had my own uh, uh, advisory or or training um, training. Uh, 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 product 
which I sold to to uh, to, to students. I was also a, a teacher, and um, and I did this while I was um, collecting, still collecting experience and knowledge in this in this field. And and as time passed and became, I became better at uh, uh, at trading. Um, I I became less and less comfortable in teaching because I saw that many of the things that I um, that made me successful in the market were based on accumulated experience on in, in my special case on intuition and on on facts that I I could really not market I could not really sell to others so it was like the world was was upside down it's, it was a world where instead the the, the teacher seeking or searching his students to to make his uh, knowledge um, uh, or to maintain his, his knowledge uh, uh, alive. It, it it was a world where students search for the teacher and pay the teachers to 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 learn from something that seems normal to us, but it's uh, it's the world upside down. In my in my opinion after. After the years, and and the, the it was even more even more bizarre the whole story because some of my students after very short time learning with me started also selling his uh, their their courses after a very short time so with with much less experience than me and and the thing went on with with a third generation of of people students from my students also started. Publishing in blogs and giving and giving their their advice, and and this bizarre situation is something that that we see on a daily on a daily basis. Something that is changing because uh, the awareness is growing thanks to books like like this one. The awareness is growing. The transparency, the demand for transparency is growing, and uh, and uh, I believe that in the near future. If you are going to teach someone, um, you have at least to show some kind of proven track record um, uh, of real trades, real experience. Many, many people in this industry very popular, and I have to say, some of my students become very, very popular in the industry, much more than I was. Um, and for many of these people, um, there was never a, a track record ever seen, a real track record, one single account, more than one year of, of true uh, real trades, um, something that would be the first thing uh, to ask for. But um, but it was accepted that such information would be not, uh, not given. So um, this is my, my personal experience that fits very well into the, the stories of, uh, of Mr. Huang's book. At the end of the book, um, the author offers um, an alternative to, to manual effects trading. His approach takes the emotion out of trading through the use of uh, automated trading, something that you, you may ask directly the author in a, in a few minutes to, to have more insight into, into this. All in all, it's, uh, it's a book about awareness, so be cautious for any trader or any reader of the book. If you decide to read the book, there is no comeback to the conscious level you were you were before reading it. So decide well if you want to go through the experience or not. Before giving the, the word um, to to Mr. Wang, um, allow me to to put a, a brief uh, video a brief video on uh, on the book that I I want to I want to share with you. Take a journey through the lives of seven individuals who are led into the world of Forex trading by Harry Dean. Ron, an eccentric self-made millionaire. Michelle, a college graduate. Joey, a compulsive gambler. Cynthia, a real estate maven. Arthur, a coding wizard. Jane, an Asperger sufferer. Charlie, a disappointed trader. Learn their lessons paid for through shattered dreams. The Bull, the Bear, and the Baboon offers an insight into an industry fueled by false promises, deceit, and greed. 
It exposes how people wrongly placed their trust into so-called experts in the trade. Author Windsor Hoang also explores multiple solutions for dealing with trading disciplines, psychologies, and identifies pitfalls related to trading. The Bull, the Bear, and the Baboon. FX Lessons Learned the Hard Way. A practical guide for the wise trader. Buy it now on Amazon.com. All right, so uh, let's begin. Um, uh, thank you very much for attending the webinar, and thank you uh, very much for the uh, uh, the people at FX Street for allowing me the opportunity to share my work with you, the bull, the bear, and the baboon. FX lesson learned the hard way. Um, so let's go on why I wrote the book. Um, the reason why I wrote the book is to give back knowledge. I was like you 17 years ago when I first came across the stock market and then the forex market. I wanted to help you avoid the costly mistake that I made and also to help you achieve trading success more quickly than I did. The book would dispel many trading myths, including one of the most pervasive that anyone can take on the market and win. The authors of most trading books want you to stay in the game. What they don't tell you is why the game is so difficult in the first place. Many trading books fail to address awareness. In this industry, you are competing with some of the brightest minds in the world, and they are often well-funded and are able to withstand significant losses. So how are you going to compete against them? Um, that's the mindset of the, the book. Now, a bit more about the book um, and why I wrote it as like a, a novel slash business book. Many books on trading are uh, filled with dense and dry technical information, and the advice they offer is difficult to absorb and much less apply. I have chosen the storing telling approach to discuss about trading. It's a hybrid between a novel and a business book to make it more entertaining and easy to understand. If you enjoy reading a good novel and learn from it, then this book is for you. Uh, last month, the book received a five-star rating by Clarion Review, and we're working to get the book out there so that uh, more people are aware of the book and that they get to read it. So you may see yourself or perhaps someone you know in at least one character. The more you connect with the characters, the more you would take away from their story, their trading style, and mistakes. I included a summary at the end of each chapter. Uh, please note that there are more than eight important points per chapter. And what you may want to do is to create your own summary when you are reading the book. I keep the pricing of the book below $15 so that each of you can afford to buy a physical copy and use it as your reference guide. Now, I hope that you can review the book two or three times because it is impos impossible to absorb and to obtain all the information all in one single reading. So please keep that in mind. The knowledge within this book will save you hundreds of dollars and reduce years of trading pain. Um, I personally wish I have come across a similar trading book when I first started trading. Um, this book will provide you a lot of insight into the market, insight that other books, software packages, trainer, tip services, and supposed to be expert would never give you. Um, due to the time limit of this presentation, I will be covering only one point from each chapter. It is up to you to purchase the book and review the rest of the points for yourself. So um, let's let's begin with chapter one. So point number four of chapter one summary. A market neutral approach is crucial. So when you are investing trading manually or automated, it is important to know that your trading system is capable of making money in both bull and bear markets. What does it mean? 
When you look at a trading statement or a backtesting history, it is important to have approximately equal number of buy and sell trade. If the majority of your trade are on the buy or the majority of your trades are on the sell side, then your market bias with disaster lurking around the corner. The takeaway point is whenever you hear somebody talking that he made a lot of money invest in real estate or trading with gold five years ago, challenge him. Is he still able to make a lot of money when the real estate or the gold went down? If he did not, then he doesn't have a real investing or a trading system. It is important to understand the differences among luck, timing, and a good trading strategy. Uh, Chapter 2. FX scammers know what buttons to push. Whenever you attend a free trading seminar, watch for these key phrases. Tired of being a slave to a job that you hate? Want to work anywhere in the world? What's stopping you from being successful? Making living by trading and trade your way to financial freedom? Change your life forever? Money based on market volatility, regardless of market direction? Develop a lifelong skill that will give you the life you always dreamed of? Learn to profitable trades over and over and over again for the rest of your life. You don't need to guess the market. Take action. Do it. Do it today. I promise you, I will teach you everything you need to know how to make money. Now, you see what I'm getting at. By now, you get the point. Almost everyone wants to find an exit from their day job. Most people are bored and frustrated with what they do for a living and dream of a way out a way that will provide them and their family with a secure and stable life. Guess what? The FX scammer know this about you, and they will use this, use your weakness to manipulate you. Watch out for their sweet words and key faces, okay? As you already know, FX trading is a very risky venture for new traders. Your trading journey will be counted in years and decades and not months. Um, Let's go to chapter 3. How many of you have read the book entitled The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell? Um, If you can type in the uh, chat box and let me know, that would be good. If you have read this book, then you understand what I mean by, by, what I mean by trading a skill that takes time to master. Okay? So, Trading for a few months in a demo, demo account represents just the tip of the iceberg. It has been estimated that to become proficient in any profession, it takes a minimum of 10,000 hours or three and a half years. This is assuming that you look at the charts and research eight to 10 hours per day, including weekends. If you want to take the weekends off, then it will take you more than four years. If you know of someone else that has been successful in trading with less than 10,000 hours, please let me and Malcolm Gladwell know because it is impossible to think that to become a successful trader in only a few months. Trading is like any other profession. It takes years of studying and practice to become good enough to earn a living from it. Now, the next time that you sign up for a five days intensive trading program, be ready to apply the 10,000 hours based on what you will learn since the five days intensive trading program will not provide you with all the knowledge, skill, and the experience requiring trading. Moving on to chapter four. Successful traders keep excellent records. Let me ask you, what would happen if your trading instructor told you that 1% is trading and 99% are good documentation and record keeping? You know, honestly answer yourself this question. Would you still take up on trading? To be successful in FX, 
trader requires not only extensive study, practice, and planning, but also good at documentation and record keeping. All trade must be well planned out in advance, with entry and exit well thought out. Details such as screen capture of the before and after each trade, and notes regarding one emotional state over the course of the trade. In order to improve in trading, the tedious and arduous process of detailed record keeping is essential. Without a law, a trader would never learn the vital lessons needed to become a successful trader. Moving on chapter 5, uh, point number 3. The financial trading industry progresses just like any field. So let me ask you another question. If you are really sick today, would you take penicillin that was invented 100 years ago? Of course not you will take a more effective medicine derived from penicillin. You will have to understand that trading techniques had advanced similar to medicine and other technologies, all areas of discipline, advance, and progress, and yet too many FX trading instructors are still teaching the obsolete techniques such as the bull and the bear candlestick patterns and other overused and even proven useless indicators. Now, if an indicator has been around for years and has been commoditized to the masses, what edge would you gain from by using it? You would be using the same techniques everyone else is using. You will be subject to the same pitfall. Do you agree with me on this point? Now, so far I told you you can't do this, you can't do that, you must do this. It's It's like... It's like your parents is lecturing you on this. And I feel like, you know, I'm my own parent right now. And this is the reason why I wrote the book as a novel, to make it more understandable and and not to to be in a situation where, you know, I'm trying to lecture to other people. Um, so I hope that you can appreciate the extra effort and work that I put in to write the novel and develop the plot and the character because the bottom line is that throughout the ages, we learn by storytelling. And this is why I wrote this book as a novel. Okay, for chapter 6, point 7. The retail trader are most often fully served by trading books and trading instructor. I have dedicated this entire chapter on ways that your broker can work against you. You will learn at least 10 different ways that your broker can cheat. It is important to know their tricks so that you can combat against them. If you are to proceed with arbitration or legal action against your broker, detailed record keeping is essential. Without records of trade and timing, the judge or the arbitrator has no basis for a decision. For some of you um, who think that they know it all, I challenge you to sit down and write down all the tricks and then read the book to compare the answer. What you are about to learn in reading this book will turn everything you thought you knew about FX trading upside down. For those who approach this book with an open mind will learn a great deal from it. So, so far so good, guys. Let me know. I want to make sure that this presentation is going to be as interactive as possible. Let's talk about point number one of chapter seven summary. Too much information hindered trading. Now, how many of you know, how many of you follow several analysts, expert opinions, and FX trading information sources? How many of you are trying to become a techno, techno fundamentalist? That is mixing technical and fundamental techniques together. Fundamental trading techniques is a long-term position trade, which takes weeks or months to play out, while technical trading happens within minutes or hours. The majority of the time, the technical trading conflicts with fundamental analysis of the market. 
Too much information will create more excitement and more anxiety for you. Whenever you are excited, you are prone to making poor trading decisions, such as increasing bet side per trade. Whenever the expert disagree with your prediction, your anxiety will shoot through the roof. This anxiety will cause you to have doubt in yourself, and you will exit your trade way too early. So, don't try to fool yourself by thinking that you can take all the information on the market from as many sources as possible, then synthesize it to come up with a trading plan. Every single expert can be correct, and you can still lose money. Now, we're on Chapter 8 now. Point number one of Chapter 8 summary is get acquainted with the law of large numbers. How many of you know that it takes 1,000 live trades to discover your trading edge? It is impossible to make 1,000 trades in several months. Hence, you will need several years. During this period, the market will move several times up, down, sideways to test your strength and weaknesses. If you are still profitable after 1,000 trades, then you know that you can make a living by trading. For automated trading system, you will need 10,000 trades for back testing. This will ensure the robustness and the longevity of your trading system. After the back testing, you still need the 1,000 live trade to ensure that it's working properly. Now, I know that many of you would disagree with me on this point. However, you will need to test this for yourself and to prove me wrong. Many of you are interested in trying out new trading system. You know, many experts would tout the absolute invincibility of their trading system. Many of them were successful for the 100 or even the first 300 trade. But inevitably, these system would break down and become unprofitable. These system did not have a large enough number of trade, and they did not have at least two years of trading result to demonstrate their robustness of the trading system under different market conditions. It is important to know that all trading system will go through an unavoidable losing period. However, a sound trading system will recover its losses and continue earning profits again. These profitable systems tend to have a large number of trades, hence you should pay more attention to these versus systems that only have one or two hundred trades. So let's talk about um, chapter nine. Um, chapter nine is that trading trainer may employ the trick of misdirection. How many of you attended live trading forum? This is where the trading trainer make the trade in real time and you can follow their trade. Find yourself profitable after six months or a year following them? Or do you find yourself giving up after three months? How many of you know the misdirection tricks used by magicians? Misdirection is a tool used by trading trainer to distract their audience to take their focus off where the system is not working and only show where it works. In a live trading forum, a trainer will quickly dismiss where the system is not working and quickly demonstrate another currency pair where it does work. In reality, I mean, these are things like charts that are applied in real time to full students. In this live forum, the trainer will limit their number of trades to less than 100 trades per year, claiming that they only take trade based on market opportunity. Their job is to keep you sign up and pay for the service. So the next time that you attend a live trade session, see if you can identify the misdirection of your instructor. Now, um, for chapter 10, there's no chapter summary because I want you to create your own summary. 
What I do offer a free trading tool software that you can download and expose yourself to the third branch of trading techniques. Now, in trading, there are three different trading techniques. You have fundamental, technical, and does anyone know the third branch of trading? Basically, it's uh, sentiment. Uh, not exactly. Um, actually, the third branch of, of trading is called quantitative trading. Now, these are the tools used by the professional hedge fund managers. To them, it's not about how much return they can generate per year. They are interested in the risk-adjusted return. They want the highest return for the lowest risk taken. So let's talk about the, the first free tool called the investment performance statistic. So basically, how many of you are aware of the sharp Kalmar, Sterling, Sotino ratio. Basically, beside profitable in your trading account, you need to benchmark yourself against the professional and the index to see where you stand. So um, this is the, the free tool that comes with the book that I allow you to um, download. Um, so don't worry, you don't need to calculate anything. The software will calculate all the ratios for you. You only need to enter your monthly trading result in a simple text file, and the software will spit out all the results for you. And these are the ratios that professional money managers um, use. And in terms of quantitative trading, this is where all the master, PhD, engineering uh, people um, do their trading. They don't trade based on fundamental or technical analysis. Also, in terms of um, trading, um, what you need to understand is your trading result volatility, your maximum drawdown, the drawdown period, and the recover period. So as I mentioned before, in this industry, you are competing with some of the brightest minds in the world. Hence, you must know the tool and the benchmark that they are using. For example, the sharp ratio has to be better than one. Your Kalma ratio has to be better than uh, one. Uh, Sotino has to be better than two. And your Sterling ratio has to be better than 1.5. Um, I know that this, these information are quite new to many of you. And it will take uh, some time to absorb them. Okay. Um, I want to talk about another free tool. It's uh, It's called money management using Monte Carlo techniques. So how many of you have come across uh, Monte Carlo software before? Um, uh, let me know uh, if, if, if this is the first time. Um, um, if, if you uh, have seen or heard of Monte Carlo's. Uh-oh. So it's your first time. Um, okay, so... Let's imagine we we play a game, okay? Imagine that you have twenty dollar and I have ten um ten thousand dollar. Now we're gonna play a coin which is a fair coin. So uh whenever you you I'll let you flip the coin. When you flip a coin and it's head, I give you a dollar. But if you flip tail, then I take one dollar from you. So basically would you play this game? Um, so basically what it is is that Monte Carlos is a brute force method that you can try to simulate the trading result um, because, you know, we don't want to be flipping the coin a million times. So this is why Monte Carlos point. So in this example here, I ran the simulation one million times and each time 200 coin talk. So imagine coin cost is like one trade in, from in the market. So as you can see here, that with one million um, simulation and with a fair coin cost of fifty percent being head and fifty percent being tail, um, it's quite scary. 
Uh, because what you notice here, you can have 28 consecutive losing trades. One of the scary, because many of you would start modifying your trading system after five consecutive losing trades. There may be nothing wrong with your trading system, and yet people are modifying, tweaking their trading system already after five consecutive losing trades. Here, even with a fair coin, you can have, still have 28 consecutive losing trades um, during a long period of time. Okay? Now, now the other one is that how many of you have heard about don't let winning trade turn into losing trade? At the same time, many of you have heard that you will need to cut the losses short and let your profit run. Now, guess what? These two advices conflict with each other, and they actually come from two different trading mindsets. Using this free software here, you can determine your reward-to-risk ratio, and you can determine the winning percentage to determine which advice you should follow based on your trading style. So in terms of, um, I have to qualify is that um, for the people who purchase my book, um, I will send me an email uh, with your invoice, then I will uh, send you the link so that you can download this. Um, I hope that you know you have learned a lot from this uh, presentation, and you know it'd be good if we keep in contact with each other because um, trust me, there is just so much that you will learn from trading. Um, so I think what it is, is this is just a preview of things that you need to learn and things that uh, will take years and years um, to overcome the pitfall in trading. So um, uh, this is the end of my presentation. I give it to back to Gongalus. So um, thank you very much for attending. Uh, thank, thank you, you guys, very much for, for attending. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Hang, for the for the interesting uh, introduction to your to your book and more detailed explanation on uh, all the chapters. Um, I want also to thank everyone uh, coming to the to this, this webinar for your attention. And as a final note, I may share with you a, a brief uh, video on on the book that Mr. Hang has uh, sent us. So. Um, I'll see you next time for the next presentation and uh, have a have a, a great weekend. Bye bye.